So one of the things I've always admired about you as an investor is that you don't talk about what should be. You figure out what is going to be, and then you do that. So what is going to be with respect to the stock market? What's going to happen? I learned uh, very early in my investing careers, I better not invest in what I want. <laughs> I better invest in what's happening in the world. Otherwise, I'll be broke, dead broke. Well, what's going to happen? Is this going to continue? Some stocks in America are turning into a bubble. Uh, the bubble's going to come, then it's going to collapse. And you should be very worried. But Henry, this is good for you because somebody has to report. So you have job security. You're a lucky soul. Well, yeah, TV ratings do seem to go up during crashes, but then they completely disappear when everyone is obliterated. So nobody is hoping for that. But so when is this going to happen? Later this year or next. Later this year or next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write it down. And what will trigger it? Well, it's interesting because these things always start where we're not looking. Uh, in 2007, Iceland went broke. And people said, Iceland? Is that a country? They have a market? And then Ireland went broke. And then Bear Stearns went broke. And then, you know, Lehman Brothers went broke. They, they, they spiral like that. Always happens where we're not looking. I don't know, it could be an American pension plan that goes broke, and many of them are broke, as you know. It could be some country we're not watching. It could be all sorts of things. Uh, it could be war, unlikely to be war, but uh, it's going to be something. When you're watching Business Insider and you see, that's so interesting, I didn't know that company could go broke. It goes broke. Send me an email, okay, and then I'll start watching. And how big a crash could we be looking at? It's going to be the worst in your lifetime. Uh, I've had how, some pretty I, big ones I in know, my lifetime. It's long. Old. It's going to be the biggest <laughs> in my lifetime, and I'm older than you. No, it's going to be serious stuff. It's going to be big. We've had uh, financial problems in America, let's use America, every four to seven years since the beginning of the Republic. Well, it's been over eight since the last one. This is the longest or the second longest in recorded history, so it's coming. And the next time it comes, you know, in 2008, we had a problem because of debt. Henry. The debt now, that debt was nothing compared to what's happening now. In 2008, the Chinese had a lot of money saved for a rainy day. It started raining. They started spending the money. Now even the Chinese have debt, and the debt is so much higher. The Federal Reserve, the central bank in America, the balance sheet is up over five times since 2008. It's going to be the worst in, your, the worst in my lifetime, too. Be worried. I am worried. Good, good. Can the Fed rescue us? Can anybody rescue us? They will try. They will, they will, what's going to happen is they're going to raise interest rates some more. Then when things start going really bad, people are going to call and say, you must save me. This Western civilization is going to collapse. And the Fed, who's made up of bureaucrats and politicians, will say, well, we better do something. And so they will try, but it won't work. It will cause some rallies, but it won't work this time. And we are in a situation where Western civilization already seems to be possibly collapsing, even with the market going up all the time, often when you do have a financial calamity, you get huge turmoil in the political system. What happens politically if that happens? Well, that's why I moved to Asia. <laughs> my, my children speak Mandarin because of what's coming. Uh, you're going to see uh, governments fail. You're going to see countries fail this time around. Iceland failed last time. Other countries fail. You're going to see more of that. You're going to see parties disappear. You're going to see institutions that have been around for a long time. Lehman Brothers had been around over 150 years, gone. Not even a memory for most people. Well, that's, you're going to see a lot more of that next time around, whether it's museums or hospitals or universities or financial firms.